The country's ruling bloc has been pushing to pass a bill that would strip the prosecution of investigative powers. But now they've reached a compromise with the People Power Party to eventually accomplish this reform, but not right away. Kim do explains further. The four leaders of the two main parties in the National Assembly on Friday have agreed to a compromise proposal from Speaker Park byung sok to pass a new bill that would eventually strip prosecutors of their remaining investigative powers. The agreement says the new bill should eliminate the prosecution's investigative powers completely once other investigative authorities have achieved sufficient capabilities. The Assembly will form a special committee on judicial reform tasked with setting up a large-scale investigative agency like the United States FBI. Until then, the proposed bill would limit direct investigations by prosecutors to corruption and financial crimes. And it would prohibit investigations and indictments being done by the same prosecutor. Despite extreme division, an extreme compromise was achieved. The two sides had strongly opposing views, so it must have been hard to do this. I want to thank each of Assembly's 300 representatives. Stripping the prosecution of its power to investigate has been on the agenda of the Democratic Party of Korea for years, and the prosecution has, over time, yielded much of its power to other agencies. This is because in the past, the powers to both investigate and indict have been abused by prosecutors to investigate their political rivals or enemies. The DP had tried to take away these powers immediately, with only a few weeks left before it loses control of the executive branch. This brought a fierce backlash from the People Power Party whose members threatened a filibuster, saying that to alter the country's 70-year-old criminal law so quickly represents a serious lack of consideration for the legal repercussions. It's expected that lawmakers will now pass the compromise bill at the next week's plenary session. There's already been a fierce reaction from prosecutors. All of the director-level prosecutors immediately resigned, including Prosecutor General Kim Ho-soo, whose earlier attempt to resign just a couple days ago was rejected by President Moon Jae-in. In the meantime, the Presidential Transition Committee says its members respect the compromise. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.